answering the question everybody here in the front row is asking themselves. They are wondering, does he realize his belly is hanging off the bottom of his shirt? Well, yes, I do. But not because I can see it. I can feel it. When there's a nice breeze going by. Like, yeah. uh, I know I'm a big guy. And, and realizing you are fat and lazy, isn't that big of a deal when it's playing sports or when it's doing workouts and things like that? It's sadness on a whole other level when you realize you are fat and lazy while laying on the couch eating Hershey Kisses. Oh yeah, your, your shirt's rolling up your belly, and you've got wrappers of Hershey Kisses all over your chest and all you're thinking is, man, I do not want to take the time and effort to unwrap each one of these. Brutal. So naturally, as a really diligent fat guy, I've learned that I can actually take the little paper part of the wrapper and snap it open like a zippo. It works for me. You know what I mean? So yeah, my, my favorite thing, being a big guy is nice because a belly is a great source of entertainment, in case any of you are wondering. Uh, I love to go to those Mexican restaurants where they have the little flags that they put in your food. Take it. Stick it between my toes, lay down, and suck in my gut, okay? But what I do is I slowly let my belly back out. And what I do, it's like watching my toes sail off into the horizon. <laughs> Goodbye, old friends! <laughs> my favorite part of that joke that most of you didn't even realize is that I actually have to lay down on my back in Mexican restaurants. <laughs> And I still have to suck in my gut to see my toes. Uh, speaking of entertainment, uh, we all know there's junk and crap on TV, but to me, I absolutely hate commercials, especially those erectile dysfunction commercials. Ugh. The problem I have with them is when you have, um, you know, there's a big audience of people watching that, especially older men, but people don't realize there's another group of people watching those commercials. It's five-year-old little girls. <laughs> the last thing you want to hear as a father of a five-year-old little girl from the TV room is, Daddy, what's electile dysfunction? <laughs> so, naturally, like a good father, got down on one knee and said, Honey, ask your mother. <laughs> I really... I, I, I love playing games with my kids. My, I, because now that we're adults, we can use that adult wisdom that we've got to take advantage of our kids, meaning we can get them to do things we need them to do with the same games we played as kids. For example, whenever my wife and I want the kids to just be quiet, instead of sending them outside, we play hide and seek. Now, my kids think I'm the idiot because I can never find them. Well, they're the ones who think Simon says, Get Daddy a Beer is a real game. <laughs> My favorite part of that game is having two kids is like happy hour. You ask for one, but you get two. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Really, the best thing to do with my kids is I love wrestling with my kids. It's a great memory, and it's all tickles and giggles and until they decide to adopt street fighting rules. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you wake up with somebody sitting on your head and you realize what got you there was a knee to the groin followed immediately by laughter and a wiffle ball back to the side of the head. Yeah. And the best part is to them it's all playful and loving when in reality they just beat you like you owe them money. <laughs> Oh yeah, kids are great, man. Hey, if it's not obvious, I have ADD between toe flags and wrestling. I mean, go figure, right? Well, being married with ADD isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world. It's hard. Because you do things that only make sense to you right then and there in that moment. For example, my wife and I once actually missed a flight. On our way to the airport, halfway there, we decided to turn around and come home. And the reason why we had to turn around and come home 
to to turn off the oven. While she was finishing packing, I thought baking cookies sounded like a good idea. And this is the two, this is the complete fat kid in me, right? We all take snacks on trips. Why not fresh baked cookies? Right? Oh, yeah. You know, it, really the hardest thing about being married with ADD is that your mind goes a thousand miles a minute and you can't pay attention to anything. And my wife is the worst storyteller on the face of the planet. It's impossible. And here's the reason why. When guys tell another guy a story, or typically, if you leave things out, we just fill in the blanks to whatever makes sense. Right? No, her, she has a backstory to start the story. And then there's stories within the story. Okay? Are you kidding me? There is one constant in her stories. They always end with this face. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's why Adderall is the greatest thing on the face of the planet, my medication. It's seriously like those devices that hold your eyes open with blinders on the side. You go into such tunnel vision on Adderall for my ADD medication, that you seriously would be in a building and you would notice the sweat pouring off your face before you realized the building you were in was on fire. Just the way that it is, you know? I, I actually did. I got such tunnel vision one time, I literally got what I thought was completely dressed to go to work. Seriously, socks, shoes, everything. I went to go put my wallet, my keys in my pockets, realized I wasn't wearing pants. I told my wife, you ever want to have me arrested? Buy me boxers with pockets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonathan Grace.